With one of the few boxy designs still available, our tester today has been totally redesigned both inside and out. I'm Chris Model Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 Kia Soul X-Line. Honda Element, bye-bye. Scion XB, nope. Nissan Cube, not anymore. Almost all of the cube-shaped crossovers have disappeared. Well, except for one that somehow has managed to become even more squared off. Making a design statement today is this 2020 Gravity Gray Kia Soul X-Line. And it's not a bad package for the price, with standard auto on-off headlights, rear privacy glass, rear windshield wiper, and roof rack ready mounting points. The interior has cloth seats, a 7 inch touchscreen with AM FM MP3 functionality, and rear camera, manual air conditioning, steering wheel mounted audio controls with cruise control, and remote keyless entry. The X-Line trim adds blind spot collision warning with lane change assist, rear cross traffic alert, leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, 18 inch alloy wheels, front fog lights, roof trim, and X-Line exterior body cladding. Add in the optional carpeted floor mats and you get a very reasonable total MSRP of $22,615. Even without the futuristic lighting elements that are available on higher end trims, the front end of this X-Line looks really cool. The liftgate opening is now wider and lower, and the Soul's boxy dimensions allow for an impressive amount of cargo space with 24.2 cubic feet behind the rear seats and 62.1 cubic feet when the 6040 seats are folded. The mechanical soul of this, uh, soul is a 2-liter multi-point fuel injection 4-cylinder engine that makes 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. An intelligent variable transmission, which is marketing speak for continuously variable transmission, sends power to the front wheels. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 27 miles per gallon city, 33 miles per gallon highway, with a combined rating of 30 miles per gallon. Auto Academics saw an average of 29.7 miles per gallon during testing on regular fuel. It's not every day that you can sit behind yourself with room to spare in one of these little crossovers, but thankfully today is one of those days. And while it's not super wide, there's room for a third person thanks to the almost flat floor and tall ceiling. As you can see, there's a lot to be thankful for. Take a glance at this interior and then remind yourself that this is a $20,000 car. I uh, know. <laughs> there isn't a ton of high-end entertainment tech, but with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, you've pretty much got everything you need. So now it's time to take it out and see if it drives as impressively as it looks. Coming directly out of a more premium vehicle that literally costs twice as much, I notice a slight unrefinement in the suspension tuning. The damping allows moderate bumps to intrude into the cabin. It's not bad, just noticeable when compared to a fancier vehicle. And now that I've gotten that out the way, everything else about the handling is wonderful. Yes, there's a bit of lean through the corners, but the steering is fairly direct and overall, it's much better than I'd expected. The brakes are strong too, but unfortunately, the engine isn't. There is a plus to the powertrain though. While I'm not a fan of continuously variable transmission, this Kia example isn't too bad. It mimics gear shifts pretty well and doesn't even hint at droning unless you're hard on the power. As far as interior comfort, these seats are pretty supportive, 
and the cabin in general is quiet. All isn't perfect though, as the wind tends to push it a bit on the highway due to its boxy shape. And auto stop start is a bit slower than some other systems we've tested. The radio is okay for a base unit though, and it's worth noting that the resolution of the backup camera is pretty good for a vehicle of this price point. And with the inclusion of the X-Line safety tech, this Kia Soul would make a pretty good first car. Or fourth for that matter. So there you have it guys, the 2020 Kia Soul X-Line. Kia has managed to keep the box in style. The fact that this one not only looks good, but is practical, drives well, and most importantly is affordable, makes this a deal that's hard to ignore. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who likes to make a statement. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.